Hello, this is not a spring chicken. If you're thinking I look a little bit overdressed and I'm not in a bikini, well, it's because we were just doing interviews and we were doing testing. So, well, okay, so I don't get to wear a bikini as much as I would like to. Anyway, there's a lot of news going on. We're going to bring old Cam on. I know, this is a Monday. Can you tell it's a Monday? Uh, <laughs> okay, big news. Apple, Samsung, the, it's an election year. Oh, there's always lots going on. Oh, and the Republican National Convention started. Anyway, wait, we are going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yes. As I heard this morning, that even though all the polls show that uh, Mitt Romney is likely to have an overwhelming victory, that all the history says that no, one, no president has been reelected at being behind at a convention and that no president in an economy this bad has ever been reelected. No president has ever, uh, with unemployment this bad, has ever been reelected. And that um, and no president with the dislikabilities as much as this president has has been reelected. They expect it to actually be an overwhelming victory for President Obama. Mm. And House members' VIP loans excluded from subpoena. Isn't that amazing that the uh, if they got loans from housing companies over, you know, that uh, sweetheart deals, it's, it's not illegal for a House member or a Senate member to do such. It's because not. Because they exclude themselves from the laws. Oh. That's why they couldn't get Dodd over his connection to Countrywide. That's why they couldn't get Senator Obama with his connection to the, uh, to the, uh, the, the man in uh, Rutko or Roscoe or whatever his name is, because they are excluded automatically from any legislation that they pass while they're in office. Oh. And talking about my Generation X, Paul Ryan can't be old enough. Well, I know. That the problem is, is because Ryan doesn't take drugs, he doesn't approve of drugs, and they said, I heard that, well, I mean, we can't trust anybody that hasn't used drugs. What? I, I know. that they. What? Uh, they were amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Did asking, I hear what I thought I said? Yeah, and they were to ask the reporters up. How many people here are using, have used drugs? And not a single one of them had, but they're the same generation. But if you're an elected official and you haven't been using drugs in your life, you have, you're not qualified to be an elected official. Certainly not vice president or president. Oh they my said, gosh, could you move it? Because usually they get after them because they've done drugs, right? No, yeah, well not at the moment because remember Obama was... Obama, oh, because he was selling drugs. Yeah, he was sort of a, he didn't go to classes because he was a drug dealer. I know, and they didn't arrest him. I know, first of all, Obama should, Obama does not realize this. He, if you admit to a crime, even after the statute of limitations, if it, you admit it, to the crime, that's when the crime starts. Isn't that, I mean... If they didn't know the law had been broken and he admitted to it, he now has set the thing running. So when he's a, the, the guy has got to have so I mean, some of the He's not, they said Obama is not, was not a very good lawyer. Well, there's some debate whether he even passed law school or not, so. Romney, Obama is running just to hang on to power. Well, everybody but Romney seemed to know known that. <laughs> oh, I thought he was saying that. No, I uh, know, Romney, that's wrong. I know. Everybody, that. the whole nation, but the Republican leadership knew that's the only reason Obama was running. Well, because of the, the, he's got a criminal past that he has to deal with. He may also have committed uh, perjury on his, uh, get his law license and all the, just one minor little detail after that. I think, they cannot find this guy ever really graduated from anything because he admits he never went to classes. Mm -hmm. How do you graduate with the, but it has nothing to do with he's an Afro-American uh, because Chris Matthews said the Republicans are racist and the Democrats are not. Oh. And Obama may act to stop infrastructure cyber attacks. Yeah, because he's going to, okay, he couldn't get Congress, even the Democrats, to give him permission to seize control of the Internet by presidential order. So he may do it once again by executive order, seizing control of the Internet, which means only he will be able, he will be in total control of what people can hear, see, and say. Well, was there a difference between a dictatorship? No, not under Obama, they're really not. <laughs> well, most dictators are elected after they seize power, so he just uh, simply, he seized power from the Clintons because it should have been Hillary's presidency, and he basically pulled, well, Bill Clinton's a racist. Well, I know, but see, they should have stuck up for them. They let him have it. 
they were, as far they, as I'm concerned. Okay, the news media was afraid to say anything about race because they're basically, the left basically pushes all the race things in this country. Um, and um, Obama may act, oh wait, I actually already know that one. How Romney picked Ryan for his VP and kept it a secret. Oh well, yeah, uh, BS will tell you, BS the bull. He, know, he was there when they were really doing a lot of BS. He said, what the hell do you mean I'm not going to get the nomination? They said, they don't like you. I won the nomination. They don't like you. I won the no They don't like you. You mean I have to take Ryan? They like Ryan. Mm -hmm. So that's how Ryan got to be the nominee. And they still can. Okay, they're wanting, a, okay. I think it's more Romney wanting this nomination thing done and passed tomorrow night rather than the party because the party likes to stand things on because he wants to make certain he's actually the nominee. Oh. Because then the Republican party, this is how Republicans can handle this, the bit of where, you you know, they're committed to vote for somebody. They say, the honorable state of Alabama passes. The honorable state of Texas passes. The honorable state of Washington passes. And after 30 or 40 passing, they simply stop, the, you know, they gavel it you know, session over mm -hmm. because they can't read a thing and then the next day they come in with a consensus candidate. Oh! If you do not, you're committed to vote, but if you pass on every vote, see, oh. then they have to pass. They cannot nominate anybody because if they're committed to vote for Romney, they got to vote. If they choose not to vote, Romney is not the nominee. And they, Romney, Romney, I understand, had called on the carpet at least twice. Ooh. So, this could be really interesting. He still hasn't got the nomination. And man seated next to unaccompanied minors forced to change seats. Oh, I, I know. I hate to tell this. Didn't, didn't I? Didn't they do that all the time? Didn't I sit next to an unaccompanied minor on the airplane to Minnesota? Yeah. I mean, she was really a minor, minor. <laughs> I mean, they got the plane was full of minors, and there was un, there were males sitting next to all of so them. So what's the big deal of this? Uh, because the airlines are going politically correct. Yeah, but they do that all the time. You know, here's what happens. I folks. mean, it's like you put the kids together, or yeah, they, or they the, put them wherever they have seats. And I hate to tell you, senior citizens tend to be put on the aisles of airplanes because they figure they have a problem getting in and out of the seats. So every you, you're likely to have a senior citizen male or a senior citizen female parked near a minor almost every trip. Mm -hmm. And Dutch Navy free Somal Somalis held by pirates, NATO. Yeah, you know, but they basically, uh, you can't, I, I want to see a bunch of guys in a 20-foot boat storm a 650-foot long oil tanker. Mm -hmm. It can't be done because it's like five stories up in the air. Somebody's got to toss a thing over, and the wake alone from the boat will swap the 20-foot one. So whoever is on board the ship has to, toss a thing over, they have to stop the ship, toss a thing over so that people come along, which is why insurance companies aren't paying off because they know that uh, people on board are allowing that to get, you know, their kidnapping to take place. Mm -hmm. And phone companies lose broadband subscribers for the first time. Well, yeah, but people don't have any money. Is this why Obama is so much trouble in his donations because he depends upon the internet he had 11 million internet base, and of that, almost it's all gone because the people have no money. But Iran is confident Israel won't launch a stupid attack. No, well, then they're not very bright because Israel doesn't consider those attacks to be stupid. Okay, how do you know there's going to be an attack? Netanyahu basically stopped the sale of uh, securities he had because he was afraid that, it, that with the problems with Iran, that it would look like he was telling everybody the date that they were going to attack. Mm -hmm. Amish in Ohio haircutting case seek to avoid oath. Well, yeah, because um, they don't they 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 don't owe allegiance to this country. They live here, but they don't they don't pledge allegiance to anything. So they're not going to take an oath. They swear to tell the truth. First of all, they don't. That's not their Bible. If they put their Bible out there, what? Why would the Amish? The Amish Bible, Bible is different than the, than the, the King James Bible. Oh, Obama, uh, Obama Romney race is focused on seven states. Not anymore because Obama's leading it. But Romney is leading in all seven of those states, and by he is now out of the margin for error everywhere because. If you're not working in those states, you do not want to put the man back in office that says, 
give me another eight years. Oop, I meant another four years. Mm. Animonti bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That if you know what you're doing is wrong and you get caught, why should you expect anything else to happen?